Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the hydration process of cement. But but first to know that where the cement comes from. So basically the limestone and clay are combined together at a temperature of 1400 centigrade and they react together to form clinker. Clinker are the small grey like particles and then gypsum, a small amount of gypsum that is 5% usually is added to the clinker to form cement. The addition of gypsum is to control the setting time of cement. The more gypsum you add, the more is the delay of the setting time of cement. So, but more, mostly it is taken as 5% of the weight of the cement. So, the 5% of gypsum and 95% of clinker has been combined to form the cement. So, and there are different chemical compounds of the cement. After manufacturing of cement, they have different chemical compounds and these chemical compounds are responsible for the strength of the cement. So the four main chemical compounds of the cement are there's a C3S, there's a abbreviation of uh, tricalcium silicate. The abbreviation of C3S is tricalcium silicate and the second one is C2S which is dicalcium silicate and the third one is tricalcium aluminate which is C3A. The fourth one is tetracalcium tetra aluminophorite which is C4AF. So these four are the main chemical compound of the cement. And then mineralogical names are elite, belite, aluminate and ferrite. Usually they are present in different percentage. The C3S amount is 70%, 15% is the C2S, C3 is 8% and the smaller amount of ferrite is present in the cement which is 7%. And these chemical compounds decide the type of the cement. By varying these chemical compounds you can change the type of the cement. So, but the general composition of the ordinary potent cement has this amount of composition 70% C3S, 15% C2S and 8 and 7% the aluminate and the ferrite. So these chemical compounds upon addition of water they form some hydrates and we call it the hydration product of the cement. So these are the chemical compounds without any addition of water they are in the dry state. So upon addition of the water they form hydrates and these hydrates are responsible for the strength. For example if you see here the diagram these are the water molecules. The small are the water molecules they are represented by red color and the blue are the chemical compounds which are the C3, C2S and C3 and the C4AF. So blue are the and the greater size as compared to the water molecule. So upon water addition to the chemical compounds there is some hydration process occurring here in this cement and they form hydrates in the pores. So this is the now the dense structure of the cement in which mostly mostly present is the hydrates while the small amount smaller amount of pores is also present which represent the water and the air content. And you see here the hydrates. The first and main important hydrate is the CSH which is calcium silicate hydrate and it is present almost at 48% in the cement. CH is the calcium hydroxide and it is present 14% in the cement. AFT is ettringite and it is 4% present in the cement. AFM is 11% and pores. Pores are there in the cement which is almost 16% and there are some other anhydrous a product in the cement and it is almost 7% in the cement. So basically the cement is the composition of the hydrate and the pores but pores are less, a small amount as compared to the hydrates and these hydrates are responsible for the strength but the most important for the strength is the CSH. The more CSH present the more is the strength of the cement. While these are not contributing AFT and AFM are not contributing to the strength as compared to the CHs. Although they are present in the cement but they are not contributing to the strength as compared to the calcium silicate hydrate. So this is the whole hydration process of the cement in which the chemical compound react with water forming different hydrates and these hydrates are responsible for the strength of the cement and for the concrete. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching my video.